Hey, what's up, you guys? It's me, Odir Arcadio. We're back again with Trailer Tuesday. We got a first trailer for Smile 2, the sequel to Smile. And for what I can say, Smile, when it came out, me looking at the trailers aside, I was like, okay, this looks generic, like a smiling demon. Reminds me a bit of Smiley, but I don't know if they're trying to bring that back. Uh, I'm not into two demons, but anything like that. But watching this movie in particular, I feel like this is the movie that shouldn't have been good on accident. But it actually turned out to be good. Going into the sequel, there's a lot of things I want to explain from the first movie. Because from what I heard at CinemaCon, this sequel is a sequel. But it's going to be taking place with other characters, a whole new location. The characters, Rose and everything. I don't even know if that's going to factor into this. But hopefully they do because that ending alone, come on. There's no way the movie should have ended right then and there. And then going into this, we're going to be dealing with pop stars and that whole generation. Hopefully that ends up being good because there is a scene that they were describing which the smile demon gets to the girl and with her in a concert full of people is going to be like a full room of people smiling at her. and She's not going to know whether somebody's going to come at her or the demon is right there in the audience waiting to make their move. So hopefully something like that pops up in the trailer. So let's take a look. Hello? So I guess this is how she gets it. And not gonna lie, I've seen, I've seen this dude a lot. He plays a dickhead in everything I've seen of him. Huh. Something really crazy is happening to me. I keep seeing this face everywhere. You witnessed a death. Now it's latched onto you. Stop smiling at me! What the fuck? Oh. That's a pretty cool shirt you got. Want me to sign it? Jump scare? Okay. I was expecting a jump scare for a second, just like when that scene with the window. Yeah, despite a little change in location and characters, it looks like it could be cool. And oh, since we're dealing with a pop star as our new lead versus a therapist, She's going to be in the mindset of whether or not everything around her is actually real or people are enjoying their concerts a bit too much. But who knows that the smile demon is going to be a bigger issue knowing there's going to be a full on audience of people or a full stadium. But something I wonder that the sequel is not showing. Yes, we're going through new characters and new location. We're going to be dealing with some of the same rules and stuff as the previous movie. But part of me wants to know what exactly is the smile demon up to now? Because if you remember in the last movie, Rose, R.I.P., and Joel was the only one left Survivor. So where is Joel going to fit into all this? And I wonder if they're going to try to bring Kyle Gatner back. I don't even know if he's in the credits or he's actually listed in this movie. But acting aside, I feel like with Naomi Scott as the lead, it could be a bit more change in direction seeing that, yes, we're dealing with a pop star. And since I maybe it's just me, but I feel like the whole music artist 
thing is out right now, like Beyonce, the whole Taylor Swift heiress tour and everybody going in for the Swifties and everything like that, the Dead Poets or whatever that calls society. It could be good, but I feel like with the sequel, I feel like we could have seen a bit more stuff from the last movie or we're going to be going through sequels seeing how the Smile Demon is going to interact with new people. Where does it come from? Where exactly is the entity going to next? Seeing that their victims kill themselves and they off themselves seeing that they're possessed by that demon. And there's got to be a scene that tops the ending because that reveal, man, me thinking this was just a basic horror movie. Then all this, I'm like, wow, they really surprised us with this one. Hopefully the sequel is good and I'll be there to watch it. All right, guys, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. All my social media is down in the description below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.